Hey guys, what's up? My name's Educatenator, and in one of my previous videos right here, I made a tutorial on how to do a one monitor, one chat box setup for Streamlabs, and now that it's been over a year since that video has come out, Streamlabs has updated their policies and everything, so that tutorial right there is out of date. So, I'm gonna take it upon myself to update it right now using a one monitor setup, and hope you guys enjoy. Step one, open Streamlabs. This step is very important because don't forget to use Streamlabs, it has to be open on your computer. Step two, head to the very bottom left corner of the Streamlabs HUD and click on the settings button. Step three, after opening settings, search through until you find the in-game overlay section marked by the expanding arrows icon. This tab you will find the button enable in-game overlay. Step four, you will now see a show chat button and a toggle positioning mode. Enable both of these. To use the chat box overlay while streaming, you have to have these on. The toggle positioning mode can be used to change the location of the chat box while having it overlaid. Remember, you cannot move it if it is not in positioning mode. And this leads us to step 5. Creating hotkeys to use while playing games or while live. If you want to have a chat open and viewable while live playing games, you need to have hotkeys set up. To get to hotkeys, head back over to the tabs and settings, and click the solo gear icon labeled hotkeys. Near the bottom of the first group of hotkeys, you will find a toggle in-game overlay. Bind that to a key that is not being used by any of your games or other Streamlabs hotkeys. Make sure to also bind a key to the one below it, the toggle overlay positioning mode. This is so you can quickly change the location of chat at a moment's notice. Now before you go live, make sure to get comfortable with the hotkeys. After turning on the chat box overlay, it takes on average 3-5 to five seconds to load properly. You cannot switch to positioning mode while it is loading. Wait until you can see the chat clearly. Bonus tips, if you do not want your chat box to interfere with the gameplay, head back over to the game overlay settings. Here you will find an opacity slider. Personally, I use this at 45-60% to 60 to play games like Counter-Strike or Dota. And remember, this overlay does not work with some games. Make sure to run your games in a windowed full screen mode to fully optimize this chat box. Special thanks to the person who left that comment on my last video, as well as my Twitch subscribers and my patrons. Bonus thanks to Pinecone, who has generously made me some fan art over in my Discord. If you are interested in joining the Discord, head on over to the description where you can find a link to join. Thanks for watching.